So we have a great segment here for the tip of the week, uh, and this actually got uh, started in the, the Facebook group. A few discussions were started on people wanting to add additional social share buttons to their sites uh, beyond the, the standard ones that come with BD, and there are a few good options out there. So for the tip of the week, uh, we want to cover uh, ways to engage visitors with enhanced social share buttons. Uh, and we've all been on websites where we see social share buttons for Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. Sometimes there's so many of them it makes our heads turn. Um, but the good news is with some of the enhanced social share button tools out there, you can pick and choose the solutions that work for the target market uh, that your, your website is in. Um, so let's talk about social share buttons uh, for a little bit. Those are the things like when you're reading a blog post and it says share this page or tweet this page uh, or you know email this page to a friend. Uh, those are the social share buttons and there are some benefits of including them on your site. Uh, first of all, it improves the customer experience because it gives your website uh, an opportunity to engage with them. It gives them another call to action, something to click on, something to do. Um, they can see if a post, a blog post, or another piece of content has been shared because normally they have counters on them, so you can see if a blog post has been shared 10 or 20 or 30 times. Um, and when they do share your content, they're basically increasing your brand exposure because they're sharing uh, your website with uh, their friends and their followers on those social media platforms. So the social share buttons are obviously a great way to increase your brand's visibility online. And chances are the person who's sharing your content has like-minded uh, friends and followers, and therefore you're improving your reach potentially to your target market. So if they're sharing it, it's obviously something that they think their friends or, or uh, followers might also be interested in. So you have a chance to maybe pick up some new potential subscribers uh, or members of your website. And not only that, um, in recent years, Google has been modifying their algorithms and uh, social indicators such as Facebook likes and shares definitely influence uh, your website's SEO. And there are um, SEO benefits to, uh, uh, to having your content shared. Not only does it drive more traffic to your site, but um, having good rich content reduces bounce rates. So if people are coming to your site and in droves and staying on your site and reading your articles, Google calculates all those uh, little details and factors them into how they want to rank your site in their search engine. So there's definitely an SEO benefit when your content is being shared. And then lastly, it increases your site's trust and credibility. People can see other engagement on your site from other uh, from previous website visitors. Um, and honestly, it just, it just decorates your site a, a little bit better because uh, um, people are used to seeing those on your site, uh, on, on websites, and it just adds another level of professionalism on your site, especially if you're using enhanced social share buttons. Um, it looks like your site's a little bit more developed. So here's a snapshot of BD's default social share widget. Um, honestly, it does the job. If your site is just starting out, uh, it's a great starting point. It includes uh, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, uh, which are uh, three of the top uh, social media uh, networks out there. There's no setup required. It's already included in the sidebar of your site. Uh, as I mentioned, it includes the basic share buttons. And if something's not working with these share buttons, BD will provide direct support um, for you guys. So it's great to start with these. It's great to use these. Um, and, and yeah, again, it's just a great starting point for 99% of the websites out there. So there are a lot of tools that help enhance social share button design and functionality on your site. There's two key companies out there. There's other ones, but these two offer one free solutions um, and they have killer, killer uh, settings and ways to customize the social share buttons on your site. And we're, we're going to cover that um, in just a second and actually show you how you can add this to your BD website as well. So the first one, it's share this. You can go to sharethis.com. It's free to register an account and I'm going to show you how you can connect it to your site. The other one is add this. It's addthis.com. Uh, you can go to their site, register, and it's really easy to hook it up uh, to your Brilliant Directory's website. So 
uh, for this presentation, let's focus on the share this option. The add this is very similar, but we'll focus on uh, setting up the share this account, uh, connecting it to our site, and um, actually getting this, the new social share buttons to render um, on a sample site. We'll use that dog, uh, the New York City dog walker website that Rick was on. So, you know, why go through the trouble of using a dedicated tool? Um, you know, why doesn't Brilliant Directory just build a tool that does what Share This does or Add This does? Those, those are companies that have been around for 10 plus years. Um, they've really refined uh, and fine-tuned how the social share buttons work with all the settings. Uh, there really is no reason to reinvent the reel, and they're constantly making improvements and updates. So I do recommend um, when, you're, when you're ready to take your site to the next level and you have um, ample blog posts and you want to make sure they're being shared nicely, uh, then you want to probably opt for one of these enhanced tools. So uh, they all include powerful and robust settings. We'll cover those in a second. Um, super easy to customize for your specific market's needs. And think about it, you know, these share tools, we've all been on sites where ads slow down the loading of the page or the share buttons even slow down the actual loading of the page. These dedicated solutions are designed to not slow down the load times of your page. Um, and they do allow you to include one share button or dozens of share buttons. And, you know, it's, it's fully optimized rather than if you were to add, go to the websites and add the different share buttons yourself, it'll probably slow down the loading time of your site. Another awesome thing is these tools provide reporting, analytics, and insights um, for the different types of content that has been shared using their share buttons. And lastly, these guys do a killer job. It just makes your site look more professional because of the different style options that you can apply to these buttons. And when we log into the share this uh, panel, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So these are the basic steps you'll follow, even if you're using the add this or another tool to basically get these share buttons added to your site. So you're going to sign up and register for free. Uh, similar to how Rick added a website property in the Google Search Console, you're going to add your website property to share this. Uh, then we're going to verify our website. Then the fun part starts. We can configure the share buttons. And then lastly, we're going to embed the share buttons onto our Brilliant Directories website. And they really make it easy with just a simple copy and paste uh, with a line of code. Uh, so let's go to sharethis.com and let's actually get started uh, with connecting this to a site. And I know Terry was in the Facebook group. Um, after we go through this, we can use your site as an example and make sure we have everything configured if you're here in the webinar with us. Uh, so give me a second here and let me uh, get a site set up for us. Okay, great. So we're going to work on this sample site, Dog Groomer NYC, and we're on the Share This website. Uh, so when you come here, what you want to do is go ahead and you can click get, get share buttons and it's going to ask you to kind of uh, go through the sign up process um, and, and, choose, and start designing your sites. I already have an account, so I'll go ahead and just log in with the sample account that I have. All right, great. So I'm logged in here and what the first thing that I want to do is set up an account. I'm logged in. Now I want to add a property. So in the top here, I can set up new property and it wants me to add the domain name for the property. So I'll just go ahead and copy this one, Dog Groomer NYC, and hit OK. All right, so it says we're unable to verify Dog Groomer NYC. Put this code into your site. So I'm going to click Get the Code. OK, and I'll just copy this here. So that's what I need to do, copy the code. Great. Now what I want to do is go to settings and design settings. I'm just going to paste this code in the custom head section here. So I'm going to go to custom CSS slash head tab, and I'll just uh, paste the code down here and save my changes. So that's basically everything I need to do to sync up my site with Share This. And I'll go back here and I'll click on verify. All systems go, we verified uh, the account. Um, so now the fun, 
fun part starts. So they do offer a few solutions like reaction buttons, follow buttons, like if they, you want them to follow your Facebook page. In this case, we want share buttons where people can share specific web pages on our site. So I'm going to toggle the share button open. And I actually want to start with the sticky share buttons for the first example that I want to show you guys. So this is the one where it sticks on the side of the page. So even when you scroll, it sticks. So here's what's cool about these tools like share this and add this. You can choose what platforms you want to include as your social media share buttons. And it even includes things like emailing that page to somebody. So if you click that, your email application will open up and you can go ahead and just email that page. Um, if you're on mobile, um, you can send SMS, you can share it via SMS with this button. And then this last one, this green one here, it'll basically, if you click it, it'll toggle all these other options uh, for you like this, if you want to include that. Um, now what's cool is you can just click these and they start going away. So you can have as little or as many share buttons as uh, you like. Uh, in this case, let's just stick with the few basic ones here. And we'll also include LinkedIn. And here's the fun part where you can start designing how you want this to look. You can choose the alignment left or right, um, how far from the top it's fixed. I think it's pretty good where it's at. Um, and then you can show the, the calls to action. I guess in this case, because it's on the sidebar, there, there really aren't any. Oh, I see here. Um, if you toggle it open, it says how many times it's been shared. Or you can do call to action where it tells you like what you're doing, sharing, tweeting, pinning, etc. Um, and then the total count, this number here, this is just a sample, 4.7 million shares. You can actually turn that off. So you have a nice streamlined option here. Another fun thing with this, you can choose the corners if you want them rounded or if you want a perfect square. And then what's really nice, depending on the design of your site, uh, you can invert the colors so it has a white background as opposed to their solid color uh, and with the white um, icons. Uh, furthermore, you can choose the language. Um, you can choose to hide on mobile. I think that's a good idea usually because you don't want to clutter people's mobile screens. And I'll just click on update. Okay, great. And I, I of course, have to enable sticky share buttons. Okay, awesome. Um, so now the last thing we need to do is just copy the code. And let me just see here what this is. Um, I know I can get it if I go to inline. This is what we need. Um, this is the code. I don't know why they make me go to inline share buttons, but basically what I want to do is, uh, so I'm just going to copy this and click the copy button. And in our design settings, the same place, if I want those share buttons to show on every page of my site, just paste that in the additional footer code. This little div here that I copied and save the changes. And I'm done. So I configured my share buttons, in this case, the sticky ones. And I copied the code that I need. And I pasted it. The, the, the head code that they asked me to verify is up here. And then the additional footer code, I put this other code here. Now let's save the page. Oh, you know what? I didn't need it to put it there. Here is the, uh, the share buttons now. Perfect. So now if I want, I can share this page. There we go. And it's there. So this will be on every page of my site because I put it in the design settings, which essentially renders on every single page um, of my site. Now, let's take this a bit further. Let me uh, go back to the presentation. So we've done all this one through five here, and we could, we could stop there. But what I wanted to do is give you guys five embed code placement options because probably you don't want that on every single page of your site. You may want it, but I think it makes more sense on specific blog posts or on coupon pages or on member profiles and whatnot. Don't think it needs to be on every single page um, of, of your site. Um, so the first one, it was in the design settings and the additional footer code. So that'll put the, the code everyone on your site. Uh, the second one is in the detail page design um, and putting it in the comments code. Um, so let me remove this from here and save the changes. And let's go to a blog page. So here's a blog page. Now let's say we wanted it on every blog page. Now I just removed it, so let's just refresh. Uh, 
let's go here. So if we want it on the blog page, let's see if this, I think it knows my website. That's why, yeah, I guess you don't need code for the sticky sidebar, Rick. Uh, it just knows to, to do that. So you actually don't even need to do the footer code thing that I mentioned. You just need to enable the uh, the sticky share buttons. That's why there's no code here. Um, easier. Much easier. Yeah, it just, it just shows it um, everywhere on your site. So let's actually turn the sticky ones off. And let's talk about the inline share because this is the one that needs the, uh, the embed code here. So let's turn on inline. And uh, let's adjust the settings. So let's talk about inline design for a second. So you can go left, center, right, or I like justified because it'll fit the full width of whatever um, area that you're placing it in. Uh, you can also choose the button size, small, medium, or large, again, depending on your style. And then you can show the count or none. I like the call to action. I don't like to show the count total. And then here's really cool. You can have circle corners or square corners. Let's put rounded corners here. Um, and then you can add spacing or not. Let's update this. Fantastic. So um, let's say we wanted to put this in the sidebar here. Let's turn off the sticky one. Okay, great. So this is the one that comes with the site, right, Rick? So let's say we want to get rid of this one and we want to put our own uh, this share this button. Um, so this one actually does require you to create a new own custom widget. So we're going to go to the widget manager and click on new widget. I'm just going to pop that code in that they gave me the one line of code. I'm going to call it share this code. Okay. Save the changes there. So now we have this widget and now we can just pop this widget in the sidebar. So that's the post single page sidebar. I'm going to go ahead and remove uh, the social share module that we have there by default. That's Rolling Directory's default one. I'm going to look for share this, which I just created, and I'm going to place that at the top there and save the changes. And I'll go ahead and refresh the page. So now we have the social share um, icons here. Um, now let's actually do something in that widget. Let's, let's style it a little better because we can see here that it's touching the other element below it. There really isn't a, a title for this. So we can add those things ourselves. Let's edit this custom widget. And I don't want to get too complicated with code, but this is the code that the share this uh, gave us. Under it, I'm just going to put something that's called uh, HR. So open bracket HR. And at the top, I'm going to put uh, an H3 and it's going to say share this page so that's it so and I'll just go ahead and save this widget and now that's added a title here and it should add a little space between the buttons and the element below it let's refresh one more time here we go so it says share this page and it adds a little space with that HR below it. So it really adds a lot better styling. Again, these, these buttons are ma made to look super professional um, and nice. And that's how you can add it to uh, your different pages in the sidebar. Now, if you wanted to take it a bit further, you could add that into your page layout. So can I take it to another, another level here, Rick? Let's say you want yes, to please do. All right. So here's a site we can use an, as an example here. Um, so here's a BD site. It's more like a magazine blog that they're using it for. And they've added the share this button underneath the main image here. So if you scroll down, you got these nice buttons here. They've chosen these four social share buttons. And it just really adds, again, it makes the site look a little bit more developed. Um, so let's say we wanted to add it at the top because that's probably the easiest thing to do. So uh, what we want to do is go to our post type for blog. So let's go to the dashboard. And again, there'll be a replay for this, guys. So uh, don't worry if you're not catching all of it. I'm just trying to save time here. Uh, you want to go to edit post settings and go to your, your blog, website blog. And we're going to go to detail page design. Now, what you can do is you want to put it in line with the code. So this looks pretty confusing. Just move everything down, pop it in here with the HR and you're done. So you have the share this code with an HR and you can save the changes. 
And we're probably going to see share button overload here because it's also in the sidebar, but let's refresh the page. Great. So you can have the share buttons here at the top or in the sidebar. Um, what probably would make sense is maybe you want to move the share code further down in the sidebar. This is the sidebar manager. So if we refresh it, they won't be, if you wanted to render twice on your site, you can certainly do that. So um, you can have it like this. And again, it just really adds a nice element here. And if we click on this one, you get all the social options here because we've chosen to have that one. Um, and let's take it one more thing. Let's actually re-enable the sticky ones. And we should now see overkill of social share buttons here. We should see it on the side of the page, at the top here, and in the sidebar. Uh, yeah, let me just, it's probably, it says it takes, uh, please allow five minutes for the changes to take effect. It actually does it a little quicker than that, so let's just, well, I don't want to wait five minutes, but this is a good example of where you can put it in line if you want to get into the code. If you simply want to add it to the sidebar, which is creating that custom widget, popping in their code, and then putting that widget in the sidebar. Um, and then the last one would be, um, advanced is place it in existing widgets. So customizing existing widgets and then put embedding it in the code there. That would be the most advanced method, but you really can place the social share buttons um, basically anywhere you want on your site and really create that enhanced experience.